Hello everyone, this is Anayat Meer. This is my series of FISMO transfer roles video and this is very interesting video with a root domain controller, one backup domain controller names BDC1 and the second backup controller name is BDC2. So what I'm going to do, I have all FISMO roles under LON-DC1 and I created a quick script. So that script will help you to use a PowerShell to transfer FISMA roles from LON-DC1 which holds all FISMA roles to BDC1 and B as in boy DC2.adatum.com Domain name is adatum.com So this is my script. I will run uh, line by line and you will understand how this works. So this is a very quick video in this video in 13 minutes I promoted two domain controllers BDC1 and BDC2 under adatum.com. So we will have uh, three domain controllers. Currently I am showing you my active directory adatum.com from LON-DC1. This is my root domain. Under computers, you will see BDC1 and BDC2, two member servers. So what I'm going to do here to show you these two member servers, BDC1 and BDC2, and I am going to quickly promote these both member servers as a domain controller. So we will install uh, Active Directory on both of these member servers from server manager from local servers you go add roles and and feature and then install active directory domain services these are binaries for active directory i have uh, done this in previous three videos so this is my fourth fismo transfer role video because here i am going to use two domain controllers uh, to transfer roles, uh, forest wide roles in BDC2 and the domain wide roles in BDC1. So this is my BDC2. So on the back end, I'm installing Active Directory binaries on BDC1 and same thing I'm doing on BDC2. So I'm installing Active Directory binaries on BDC2. And you can read that these features and because we need to promote these both member servers to domain controllers and side by side I'm installing on both once I'm done here I will be able to promote actually the other end should be done already here so let's promote this server first as a domain controller so my root domain is adatom.com I will add a domain controller to an existing domain because this is a backup domain controller and I'm using a password for my directory services restore mode so this is not your login password this is your directory services restore mode password and I'm using this server as a DNS server by default you can install DNS and a global catalog server using default options and starting to promote this server as a domain controller. All prerequisites are good. So this will be completed in about three, four, five minutes approximately. The other end is ready as well. So let's promote BTC uh, 2 as well. So this will actually take my forest wide two FISMA roles. BDC 1 will take uh, three uh, domain wide FISMA roles. Here you can go back and check that this is only uh, domain what I have, adatum.com. So any domain controller means that you might have more than one domain controller. Uh, I am good now. So I am good here to promote this as a domain controller as well. The other end is still booting up. Uh, let's go into my uh, LON-DC1 where you can see I have the script folder where I saved my script so I'm going into my uh, script folder to share it because my script is under this uh, folder 
So this script I'm going to use on BDC1 and BDC2. So I'm giving for now everyone full control for this share because I know I am the only one who is using this uh, under my NTFS permission and under my sharing permission. So now uh, I will go back to promoted domain controllers and I can use my PowerShell ISE to uh, run this script line by line. So a couple of options here you can see uh, which domain holds what type of roles. There is only one domain right now which is holding all five roles. I will take three for BDC1 and two for BDC2. So that is the purpose of this uh, video. So you can quickly see that. Now I have three domain controllers BDC1 dot edatom.com bdc2 dot edatom.com so first time ever i'm going to log in one by one to these two domain controllers so once i am able to log in i will be able to see now my all admin tools active directory users and computers from server manager or dsa.msc i can run from command line now i have my active directory my computers container should not have now these two member servers they were member servers before but now they are domain controllers so they should be under domain controllers now so now you can see that i have l1-dc1 my root domain and my bdc1 and bdc2 two other domain controllers we just promoted now you can open up your powershell and also you can run powershell ISE. So here I can show you my current FISMA roles, which server is holding all roles. First, you can use hostname command to look at the server name BDC1. Now I can run this netdom query FISMO command to look at my FISMO roles. So these are my currently FISMO roles, which you are going to see. LON-DC1, you can quickly see that is holding all roles. Now I'm going to map a drive first uh, for my script folder because script folder contains my script which I will copy over to my PowerShell ISE or integrated scripting environment. So this is the script which I have shared under my LON-DC1. So I'm going to open PowerShell ISE where I'm going to paste this scripts because I don't want to use NTDS util utility which I have used in my previous three videos. So this is only PowerShell related video where you can use this video and seize or transfer FISMA roles. So now you can see LON-DC1 holds all five FISMA roles. So my top three roles will go to LON-BDC1 here, 0, 1 and 2. These are the three domain-wide roles. Let's see that who has the domain-wide roles. Uh, misspell actually, uh, I have a misspelling under my read master. So let's go and fix S. That's why it didn't run properly. So now highlight the whole row or click on anywhere in the row and run the script. Now you can see these three roles. Infrastructure master, PDC emulator and read master. They belong to uh, my L1-DC1 and also the other two roles also. Forest wide roles also belong to my L1-DC1. Uh, we need to uh transfer all five roles three these uh, two into bdc2 and these three into bdc1 so they are two parts one domain wide roles one part and the second part forest wide roles so that's it so one click i transferred now i transferred three roles under uh, bdc1 so if you query again you will see that the bottom three roles are transferred. The domain wide roles to LO and uh, to BDC1. So the other goal is now we have to go back to BDC2, which is 
already rebooted after promotion so now this is a domain controller so let's go to server manager open up your powershell ise uh, we can map script folder here as well so you can copy over uh, the same script so that script is actually under my element dash dc1 where i have to use a universal naming convention whack whack server name and single slash share name and this is a script uh, i still have to fix the spelling on masters now let's go and do it once we open this powershell ise so you have seen this in my previous a step that I, I use the 0 1 2 roles and now uh, 3 and 4 are forest wide roles that is where we are going to transfer now into bdc so you have to be in that domain controller where you are transferred to not into the that domain controller where you tra transfer from not that okay so here bdc2 needs this uh two forest white roles so i'm just uh, fixing that one and fixing master so now let's look at fizma roles query so you can see that eleven dash dc1 holds schema master and domain naming master and now we are going to run this row we select anywhere click on it and one two three you should be done but let's check first from the PowerShell as well to make sure that on the PowerShell window we can see 11-DC1 still holds forest wide as two roles a schema and a domain naming master roles so we will run again this query uh, in after about one minute once we transfer these two roles to BDC2 done now you will run again the same query with up arrow you should see that LO and dash DC1 no longer holds any role. Okay, so that was actually quickest video, which uh, I showed you here the steps and the script. So if you go to my previous video, which I posted before this one, uh, that has this script under the uh, description. So here you can do the query again on LO and dash DC1 on any of those three domain controllers you run the query you will see that now BDC1 and BDC2 holds these roles. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye.